All right, guys, I'm super excited to show you how to make the Tonkin Gorp. It's a sweet and salty dessert that's been in our family for years. And this is me and my brother making it when we were little. And trust me, it will quickly become a family tradition in your house too. So let's get started. First, we're gonna pop some popcorn. Grab a second big bowl. Two quarts freshly popped popcorn. One quart Cheerios. One quart pretzels. Time to mix. A cup and a half butter. Two cups brown sugar. Half cup corn syrup. Quarter teaspoon salt. Continue to stir while it cooks. Let boil for five minutes without stirring. And now we wait. You notice that it's starting to get too brown on the sides. You can stir it a little bit just so it doesn't burn. One teaspoon baking soda. Two teaspoons vanilla extract. Make sure to stir. Get your handy dandy oven mitt. <laughs> Pour the caramel on the popcorn mix. Oh yeah, look at that goodness. Make sure to fully cover the popcorn mix with the caramel. It will start to harden, so make sure you work quick. Pour the caramel popcorn onto your prepared baking sheets. Come on, get out there, no, come on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no, oh no, whoops. Spread the mixture out evenly. Bake at 250 for 60 to 90 minutes. Okay, so I just took them out of the oven, and originally the recipe would stop here, and you can totally do that, but through the years, we've added a little twist and took it to a whole new level. So we're gonna add chocolate chips and marshmallows. Sprinkle one cup chocolate chips, as many marshmallows as you want. <laughs> we like a lot. Put it in the oven for two minutes. Let's do it. The Tonkin Gorp is completely finished. Let it sit for about an hour to completely cool. You can package it and give it to your friends or sit on the couch and enjoy while watching a movie. Be sure to tag Stavia Sweet Treats if you try this recipe out.